ഞാനോ ഇപ്പ So we've got our lovely water and it's made life here so, so much better for us. We've made some upgrades around the house which we will show you in this video. Up on the roof of our house. What are you doing on the roof? Um, getting it ready to paint with a waterproof paint, I think. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> there was bits before to stop the water running off the whole way around it once it rains because it's a flat roof. Like a ridge? Before I started this, the water was just running off everywhere. So this should, once we do the concrete bit around it and it's painted, there should only be the certain parts where the water escapes. Just this part left to do. Just copying what was here before, they had pipes cemented in to stop the water all running off the edge and down and then underneath so the water should go in the pipe and drip a wee bit further away so just trying to do it the same way as it was create a channel for the water to flow Something nice and neat. Concrete. <laughs> My good knee pads. <laughs> So today I'm going to paint our roof, make it nice and waterproof because um, at the minute it is leaking once it rains under our veranda, just wee drips everywhere. So 
we've got this paint which is rubbery sort of paint I assume it's meant to be waterproof so you paint it on it's four flat roofs and it will fill in any wee cracks or anywhere where the water gets and stop any leaks really it look a lot better too all the one color we got a nice gray color for the roofs you can see that they have done it before but yeah there has been parts painted or sealed um, but we're going to do the whole thing and make it a lot better hopefully it's effective because um, paint was quite expensive wasn't it it was quite expensive but hopefully it'll do the job Water, That's what it's for. If it waterproofs the roof, then happy days. Yeah. Here we have our first coat of paint on the roof. Hopefully one more coat will do it. Today we are going to do some painting. We have some visitors coming and we just want to prepare a few rooms so that they have somewhere to sleep. So we're getting stuck in. Some painting, some cleaning, and filling some cracks and holes. So you're filling, I'm scraping, you're sanding, I'm painting, <laughs> you're doing the bathroom ceiling. Gonna mix up some paint nice and slowly. So we finished some painting and we now have two bedrooms left to welcome some guests next week. Uh, in this one we have two single beds and in this one we have a double. I mean it's just mattresses but it looks, with the fresh paint, it looks so much fresher. I'm pretty pleased with it. I want to show... What are you doing? It's not for you. Brand new bed. And she has obviously. Do you like that? Come here, what have you got? Not for you. Just to give everybody a bit of an update on our bathroom. We struck very lucky, very, very lucky. The existing old pipework that runs well runs somewhere underneath the concrete outside we're not quite sure exactly the route it takes but we connected the pipes that we had laid into it and then there was water pouring out of some holes in the bathroom and we were like yeah happy days it just means that the water is actually flowing to the bathroom so we've been working on trying to Fit some new taps, fit some cutoff valves, some stoppers, and Will is currently 
putting some taps on the sink and we've got a flushing toilet so it's all worked out fantastically hello how's it going good getting our new taps on excellent our sink work up. once he gets the new taps on i'm just going to give the bathroom a really good clean and then we'll have a bathroom which we can use eventually we will replace the full bathroom and do it the way we want but for now no. budget bathroom it's only cost us a couple of pipe fittings so it's pretty good isn't it yeah. so whenever we connected the our new water pipe into the existing old water pipe system we had water coming out of where the bidet was in the bathroom where the tap should have been in the bathroom and out of here these two holes in the wall and we reckon one of these is for warm water and one of these is for cold i mean we're guessing and perhaps they had a water heater that stayed under these stairs before and we plan to maybe put a water heater in here quite soon well definitely before winter because we'll want to be able to have a hot shower that'll be a really hot par shower <laughs> um so yeah we would really like to be able to have a hot shower in the winter um we're not sure whether to get an electric water heater yet or we've heard about these things called ballerina dialenias which is kind of, it's like a water heater, but it's powered by wood. And we've obviously got so much kindling and firewood here that it might be a good way to help us get rid of some of the firewood and also be able to get hot water. Uh, I think they used to have them in the olden days here. They're not so common now, but it might be a good option for us and kind of solves two problems at once. And doesn't cost anything and helps us with some of the clearing of our wood but yeah so for now we've just put two swap end caps on these to keep the bathroom well to stop the water pouring out and it's all looking very good in there bathroom is now fully functioning and doesn't look too bad either so we're very very happy Good morning. Today it's very overcast. Can't see too much out there. You can't really see it in the camera, but you can see the clouds coming through this wee part. Quite nice to look at. Something different. Project for today. Going to upgrade our outdoor kitchen, which is currently here. We have our little sink and we cooking station over there it works but sinks quite small and it takes a lot of the room up on the table so our plans are to move it over to here where this bit of wood is we've got a new sink new tap which is a lot bigger be easier to clean with and have a wee workstation for cooking so yeah get started with this soon
What's for dinner? I'm making <laughs> Indian biryani, care of the happy pear. I don't think we've actually tried this recipe, but um, looking forward to it. Hi. We're always cooking their recipes. I absolutely love them. They're just two guys. They're based in Dublin. Um, they've got a cafe and a couple of cookbooks and that sort of thing. But food's always really tasty. <laughs> How do you like your new kitchen? Love it. Love it. So, yeah, it's great. So we've got the cooker with our new fire guard, stroke wind guard up, which is super handmade from a random bit of scrap metal. And everything has come from either it used to be in the camper van or it's just bits of materials that we found around the place. So we've got our cooker and then a nice workstation at a good height. It was killing my back stooping over to the little table over there. And my favourite part, of course, obviously, is the new sink, which we bought recently and we plan to reuse it in our actual kitchen kitchen whenever we get that far. But for now, we just decided to go for it, get the new sink and we couldn't wait to use it and the best part's the tap it was a bit of a treat but we just we always wanted one of these taps i just love being able to i love it we did such a good job of installing it around the rocks and things thank you and yeah plenty of space so much more comfortable than before So there you have it. We have a bathroom that works. We have a kitchen, which is so much better. So much more room, so so much easier to use. <laughs> and we have a few rooms ready for guests as well, which is fantastic. All painted, all cleaned. Just makes our living here just a little bit easier. Everything we do just makes it a little bit easier. We don't have electric still there are exposed wires and things around the place so if you see them in any of the videos do not fear there is no electric connected as of yet um which makes cooking a little bit harder really doesn't it just because we don't have yeah. a, a fridge no fridge so all we can buy is things that will only last out of the fridge yeah anything that needs to be refrigerated it'll just go off too quickly so looking forward to just being able to get like a cold drink <laughs> cold beer <laughs> cold beer yeah um and also for yeah just to have a few more options of things that we can cook but we're managing okay and our food has been really yummy so we can't complain too much it has. um so yeah next step is trying to get some electricity we're thinking solar power Solar power, solar panels. So yeah, that's really exciting. We know a lot of you have had some questions about our move to Portugal and what we plan to do here. So if there is anything you want to know in a couple of weeks, whenever we have enough questions for a video, we will do a question and answer video. Yeah, so any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll We'll do our best well, to answer yeah. them. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and see you next week. Bye.